<laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's seeing her naked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, what? I'm <laughs> Dude. It's actually like... Okay, that's a cute puppy. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of like naked anime chicks in this trailer. I'm just gonna say it out loud. So yeah, if you guys want to go watch it, <laughs> that's what you can expect. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> Just in case it doesn't line up because of all the pinging. So you could see all the wavelength. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> there's everything? a lot of coins. You've probably got a one up from that. You think so? Maybe. I mean, probably like half what is a it? What is it? 100, right? It's 100 coins. Yeah. 100 coins is a one up. Mm hmm. Man, I. What's it called? My. Mario is such an interesting game that you mentioned. I don't know. This just came up when you said that. What's up? It's one of the few games I feel like your parents played and they're like. I could play with you again. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like I, I thought Mario would have died like a long time ago. I really mean, maybe it, maybe it would have, but then like they started actually trying again on it with like Universal Studios and the movie and all that good stuff. So I feel like Mario. I, I'm not sure. Nintendo does this thing where it's just like you just end up like they just kind of retain the same characters because I can't think of the last time hmm. where Nintendo made a completely new IP. IP. What does that mean? Uh, in, uh, like in intellectual property, like a new a oh, new like project, a new character, a new project, like a new like type of game. So like like there's Zelda. I mean Splatoon Mario. is like huge. Are you talking like does that not count? Because like they make uh, new games all the time. Well, like yeah yeah no, no like uh, I meant like something new that's not like oh Splatoon three because I think Splatoon three came out or like Pikmin four or a mm. new Zelda like a completely new type of character that's in their main like lineup of series. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm trying to think if that's because I'm trying to just think of Super Smash Brothers characters now because like, like I feel not, like they would add new ones to Super Smash. But Bros. Sm but Smash Bros doesn't necessarily mean like a <laughs> mainstay Nintendo game. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. I mean, there's like the DLC ones like Joker and Minecraft Steve and stuff. But yeah. like the main ones that they added are all Nintendo characters for the most part. Yeah. Like, well, who? What's the last like Nintendo? Okay, better better example. Like Nintendo. Mm -hmm. When's the last Nintendo exclusive game title? that's not that doesn't have like a sequel or prequel mm. when was the last time they added one mm. splatoon was probably was, splatoon was like the last one i can think of and that, that was still like yeah. that was like fucking years ago wasn't it they probably have more that we're missing but the last one i can think of is splatoon when in the nintendo switch dropped i think it was on switch because people were playing on controller like a handheld controller yeah, so yeah, yeah i yeah. think switch was like when it came out but i think that's the last biggest one that i can remember so yeah i was because i i don't know why that came up in my brain when we were saying it. i was like it's like what is the, what was the last time i feel like games a lot now like the major big companies and and all will try to squeeze the hell out of a individual like concept or, or project like there's no, I, I don't know when Assassin's Creed's going to end at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully soon. It probably should have ended after, like, before Black Flag. It should have ended a long time ago. But I mean, like, the games were fun, but I don't think they're an Assassin's Creed's game, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, I mean, I never played them. But really? I, I didn't find them fun at all. But, like, a lot of people like them. You didn't like Assassin's Creed? No, I don't really like Assassin's Creed that much. What? Yeah, well, I, I never like, played Gears of War either. Like, I never played like any, Gears of War. I never played any of like the big ones outside of like Halo and Call of Duty. So, really? Yeah, they, but I don't know. I'm not like a big Assassin's Creed guy. Like, I know you would because you like the history, and then the gameplay is cool, and he's a badass. But um, that third person, like, oh like, yeah, you're not a huge third person. It's too gamer. linear. Like, it doesn't give you enough creativity um, to like go and do a side quest or anything like that if i wanted to mm -hmm. so I didn't, I, I didn't really like it that much i never saw you as an open world guy though uh i'm not either like i don't like I've, i like <laughs> roguelikes i like um turn-based strategy games like pokemon's nice because it's linear but then if you wanted to you could like go off and do something else if you wanted to but yeah i like kind of like having a little bit of freedom but i felt like assassin's creed was just like you go in a line and then you get from the beginning of the story to the end. Like there's no freedom in it. They, they kind of did like, they, I think the, fir the first few games were kind of like where first game was like that, mm -hmm. but then they went like the full open world route, which I feel like everyone's doing to a certain extent now. 
Yeah, I know. I mean, I saw that too. Like, I saw my friends playing Black Flag and stuff. And you could, like, run around the city and whatever. But, I I mean, I can't even get through the first three games. I'm like... I, I got to the... In the beginning of the first one where you're in the big white room and they're yeah, doing yeah, the yeah. tutorial. I, like, got past it and I started doing it. And I was like, oh, this... At what, it's not for me. At what so. point do you play a game? How far into a game do you feel like you're like, this is not for me? And, um, and then you quit. Usually like 10 minutes, I can figure it out. Ten. How did you play Persona? There was no fucking way. You would have played Persona if well, it was only yeah, 10 no, minutes. There's because, no goddamn way. Because I love the art already and the music was good. And like, I just skipped through the tutorial stuff anyways. Like I can, oh, yeah, I, skip, one of those. I skip all the boring shit that no one cares about. Like, what's your name? What do you mean? I care about la, that. La, 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 la. <laughs> like, I don't care about that. I just want to get to like the, the 90% of the game part where I figure out, am I going to like this? Like, what are the game mechanics? Like, uh-huh. like what, uh, is it a fighting game? Is it a shooter? Like, do I like the way the guns feel? Like I can usually yeah, yeah. tell in like 10 minutes of like, that's true. You're a game mechanics. Like, person. yeah, like that's kind yeah. of like the big thing with you. I feel mm. like, yeah, I like strategy and I like mechanics a lot, and yeah. I like good art too. Those, yeah, those three things. I like visually looking at something. But do you think if if everything about a game was good, <clears throat> but the art was shit, do you think you could play it? Mm, do you think you enjoy it? What's like shit art? Because like I'm I mean, trying like, to think of a shit art game, like an old school game. Actually, nah, probably not. Like old school games, I can't stomach anymore because they're just like too old looking. Like <laughs> like even you can't play a retro game not really like i think they're just like too basic to me like could you I'm play so mario spoiled. could you play mario 64 <sighs> for like 10 minutes and then i, get, <laughs> I probably get bored because i beat it already so like i well i mean like that like like if like, i played a game like that like banjo kazooie or something like that or like uh um, ocarina of time like that's uh, type of like probably not like I, i'm not saying they're bad games but the art is just like not it's so there. appallingly different yeah, if they remade Ocarina of Time again and they put it on the Switch, I'd probably play it. I, I was thinking about that, too, because I was like, maybe I should play some of the old like Final Fantasy games. Yeah. And I looked at them. I was like, I'm not playing the old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, like the new I love the way the new Final Fantasy games like like I haven't gotten into them, yeah. but I would normally get into those type of games. They look too realistic. <laughs> Dude, they look so good. Yeah, they look too there. There's a point in gaming where I'm like, this is just, just just live action at this point. Mm-hmm. Like I saw some of the Diablo four cutscenes. Yeah, and I was like, oh, they look really good. Yeah, but I was like, I think this is just an actor. Yeah, and like I'm pretty sure this is just an actor. <laughs> like I don't think this is a, <laughs> like this a real is... person with a green screen. Yeah, button. I don't think they. I don't think they <laughs> someone drew this. Like I'm pretty sure this is an actor and actress. What? Yeah, yeah. I I I'm not into Diablo, but I've seen the same stuff, like the yeah. footage or whatever. It looks yeah, yeah. Good. Looks I good. know it looked it looked really good. I was never into Diablo two. I feel like, or not just not Diablo, or Diablo too, as well. Just Diablo, yeah. is, just Diablo is a franchise. Yeah. yeah, I feel like. Uh, did you ever have <laughs> games that your parents just wouldn't let you play? They're like, you can't play this because it's too adult or something. Ah, uh, no, not really. Really, like, my parents let me. Like, it's weird. Like they, they wouldn't let me watch Ed, Ed and Eddie. What the fuck? Or like the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy and a couple other shows. Yeah. But they would let me play Halo and like Call of Duty and stuff. Uh huh. But yeah, they, I was restricted on shows and movies, but I could play did any they, game I wanted did to. Did they ever restrict you on anime growing up? Or like any anime shows? Uh, Like cartoons, yeah, but anime, I didn't even get into it until I was like 14. So. so by then, it was just kind of like yeah. an open thing. Like I was restricted till I was like 12 or something, and then they didn't give a fuck about after that. So. I'm trying to think. My, I don't think my mom ever... My mom was like... My mom and dad were like kind of like that. What? But like they restrict a l- little bit, but I don't think I can think of a hmm. scenario where like, oh, you shouldn't watch this. That it was like such a big thing. Mm-hmm. I don't think I was just into things that they felt like it would be strict about. Hmm. My parents were really young when I when I grew up too. So yeah, see, mine were too, but yeah. because they were young, they tried really hard. Yeah, like really hard. So they were like, you can't watch this show and you, yeah, you ha- yeah, I, had yeah. a, I had a bedtime and stuff of like 9 30 and like really 9 30 yeah and like i couldn't play video games monday through friday either oh, okay so like I, they were really trying hard and then my brothers were born and then they didn't give a fuck they let them do whatever they want so i was i was mine was 10 30 mm-hmm. i i feel like I, I was able to play games for the most part um i'm trying to think what was like what because 
I, I was trying to think of something like what was something a show or a specific thing they were like you can't watch this hmm. family guy was the only one that i think my my mom was like you can't watch this mm. <laughs> but that that didn't even last long like mm. i didn't even i didn't the thing was even when i watched family guy i didn't think it was funny at like at the same time to watch i'd rather watch drake and josh yeah at the time that game was coming out you know the reason i can't watch billy and mandy is because when i was like 10 or something like that i watched yeah. this episode where he pulls his white monster out of a box and he yeah, calls yeah, it yeah. honky and i said that out loud one time really loud in a supermarket i was yeah, like yeah honky honky <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't know that was a bad word for uh, st- wait that's a bad word yeah apparently. really for what so it's white of uh, it's towards white people it's like cracker it's like honky tonky kind of thing what the f- that's not yeah that's not- but <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be like some people get offended by that word where uh i don't know like the south or whatever but like i mean my parents knew it was a bad word like they both really? agreed I, they were like you can't say that i'm pretty sure if i screamed it out <laughs> when i was a kid my my family would just it, well, my, my parents would just laugh and be well, like, oh, that's funny. i mean my parents would laugh if you called them crackers too because no one cares if you say cracker like no white person gets upset about that really i feel like that's more offensive than honky is it it, it i think it is too but yeah. i'm just saying to me and you well, I mean, just I'm just telling you as a white person, like I would never get pissed if somebody called me a cracker or yeah, honky. Yeah. Like, there's no bad word somebody could call me towards the color of my skin that would make me feel upset. You know. Dude, I, th- I I thought about it. I was like, damn, Asian slurs are so are like the least offensive. <laughs> they couldn't think of anything. They're the least creative. Yeah, they're so you're bad. Fu- you're a fucking. <laughs> you're a chink. It's like, like dude, ching chong or something. It's like you're 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 a chink. It's like what the. F- it's like, dude, what is that supposed to? Yeah, like, yeah. it sounds <laughs> like it sounds like like that yeah that's supposed to be is a language thing is it supposed to be your eyes or chinky or like what is what it was what's it so supposed to be yeah and also oriental was kind of is a is, a, is one that i didn't really realize until like i grew mm. up later but also like oriental was like what does that is that I, it's like what does that actually yeah. mean? <laughs> dude i i didn't even learn that was a bad word until i was like 19 yeah. like i because when i thought of oriental before i knew it was a bad word i thought it meant like like fresh food or something like I that. I thought Oriental <laughs> meant regal. Or like yeah, like, like or like good culture or something like, like it's ori- regal oriental <laughs> or like Yeah, no, there's like there's like so, imagine on the streets like you damn oriental and you're like, thank you. Yeah, like <laughs> There's, I think there's actual like hotels called the Oriental. Probably. <laughs> like it actually, it's, I think it's supposed to be. I was like, I was like, I feel like that's like the worst. Yeah. Like what? What else do they call us? Yellow. Is this is skin color. It's that's like the, yeah. yeah that's just the skin that doesn't color. matter. And I feel like no. I feel like out of all of the um. Like I think I mean you can tell me what the worst one is, but I would chink. imagine chink is the worst one. Chink is chink is chink is the worst one probably. Um, there's Oriental is like an old old one. Yeah. Chi- you know yeah. what's the funniest one is a uh, is, is huh. like china man i was like dude <laughs> y'all really couldn't well, come up you- with something better <laughs> y'all really were that uncreative well i was, just, I was like dude. they literally looked at someone who was chinese and who was a man and you're like china man and i'm like <laughs> i am got him i'm like i'm chinese <laughs> like, i think though i think the funny ones is whenever they like say like oh like oh it's a fucking j-. i've never really heard it but i thought about it i was like huh. you say that to someone who's like korean and he's like Wait, what is it though? China man. Oh, you China say, man to a Korean, Korean guy. Okay, that could piss. That I can see that because you're but like, it's, I'm Korean, bitch. Like, but like, no, but it's also like, what? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's like literally like make someone look uncultured. You know? I, I feel like okay, the other not the Chinese ones, but like the, the other um, the other Asian ones are pretty bad. Korean ones are pretty bad. The Korean ones are pretty bad. I actually don't know. Really? Like most of them, yeah, because like. I was pretty like shielded or whatever. Korean so. ones are uh, one of them was a you call it a Korean a gook. Oh yeah, I've heard I've heard of it, but if I've you just reminded me, yeah, I probably like would gook have forgot. Or gooky. I mean, Japanese is like Grookey is a Pokemon. That, grookey, gookey. <laughs> I know. Gookie. I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking around. Different one. I'm but, just fucking around. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just. I, I just. Let's see. What's the, what's some? All right. Please don't one? cancel us. <laughs> a Jap is Japanese. Yeah, but like that's not that bad. Either. Yeah, it's not. As, damn, but like we they really couldn't think of something. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I feel like we gotta stop saying them, but yeah. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs>
in like two years from now, someone's gonna throw this up on Twitter and like cancel us or some shit like that. But I feel like they would have canceled me first for call for saying uh, midgets uh, in the. On oh, the mi- oh yeah, when we talk about midgets, <laughs> <laughs> I still think that might be worse than than cracker. Probably like, is. I just <laughs> still think that that's. I feel like that's still better than calling someone a dwarf. And yeah. Even that's the official term. Twerm? Twerm. Twerm. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's like, you know, it's just like, uh, it's not the it's not the worst thing, you know? Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I, I think, like, the only, like, it's not offensive unless you get offended either. Like, yeah. I know, like, the idea is, like, bad. Yeah, yeah But yeah. it's also, like, dude, that doesn't mean anything. Like, you just made that shit up right now. Yeah, so. I still find it. I want to, wait, okay. This is, I, I want to look this up. But how did gay people get the term for gay? Because gay means happy. It does, so, yeah. Yeah, so how did that. Did I I it can't I can't imagine that it was a straight guy who was like you're Ooh. fucking gays oh and then like, they were like yeah we're like gay. That, I'm happy <laughs> and they like accepted it yeah no, yeah, yeah yeah like it's probably what, the gay community who, who like, came up with that for up. themselves I mean I, I don't know how it came up I'm sure you could Google it right now and figure I'm just, it out I'm but... like I'm like legitimately curious because I don't I, know okay the, the f I'm not gonna say the f word because I feel like that's the worst no yeah don't say that that might be the most forbidden one like that one might be like there's like two that come to mind that's yeah, one yeah, of them yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't say those two words not allowed yeah yeah no i i i do remember i feel like that was like a became like a that became like a bad word in like high school was it probably high school Maybe like that's when i heard it school. first i heard it first in high school yeah but i heard it i don't remember hearing it as a bad word until like college <laughs> until like end of high school to college when people were like, mm. you sh- you shouldn't call people that. And I was like... Wait, that- wait, so that implies that you said it one time. Yeah, but I was fucking- <laughs> Oh, like you said it to somebody, like, you're a this. <laughs> but I thought it was like, it was like Endearing the way... or something? Or it what? was like, oh, it's just like calling someone oh, gay. Oh, it's like the equal. It's equal like it's like someone's, someone's yeah, gay, like gotcha. whatever. Yeah. I thought you were saying it like in a mean way. And so no, I was no, like, no, you no, probably no, shouldn't no. say that. But no. uh, yeah. I, 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 like, it's weird how some words just become like... Uh, like bad terms. Yeah. Okay. So you know what's one thing that I feel like is a is one that's like I I had where I feel like is kind of weird if you're if you work in like uh the medical like space or like you're a doctor or a psychologist. Wait, there's a racist term for doctors and stuff? no 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 no, like no 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 bad no. word like not not like like if you call someone uh re- like retarded right. Oh yeah, yeah it's it's like a bad thing now. It's like a really bad thing now. Yeah. Back in back when I grew were like back in my day, but like <laughs> when I was growing back up, it was it wasn't like that. It wasn't like taken that seriously. It was the same thing as like when you when you call someone like as oh, you fucking stupid. Like, yeah. You, you don't like. I mean, even then, like I still feel like some people don't take it that seriously. Yeah. I mean, I think you could say that about any word, but yeah, I mean, I think that one grew over time. Like I think. Yeah. Like it took a while for people but, to like but the figure actual, out that that word was not really good. To but the saying. term, the medical term of it, is retardedness. Yeah, which I mean, is like, like a kind of an interesting. I mean, like it's the community that decides it, though. Is I it? Guess. It should be. I mean, I mean, it. I think it should be. Like, yeah, I mean, I agree. I agree too. But at the same time, it's like it's kind of an interesting thing because, like, as a what do you, what do you refer to someone, who is unfortunately in that situation right like identify what, what's the, the special needs now? yeah special needs special yeah. needs special needs special case i don't know you could say they're just you could literally just say like they're autistic or something autistic like if, if they're if they have autism but i think it depends on the the situation right it's just because it's not oh it is so right? autistic is like not a bad word but like people will say it's bad but you can say someone's autistic if they actually have autism I mean, like, but I mean, you would never say like <laughs> someone's aut- because that doesn't make sense, you know. If you said it to somebody who isn't, but like, like, but to the point, like, you used to be able to say, "Oh, that yeah, person's yeah, retarded," yeah, yeah. but then it, that's like not the word the community wanted to use. So yeah, now yeah, yeah. it's like special needs. You can still say autistic. You could say that. Like, I my baby cousin's autistic, so uh-huh. yeah, you could say that. So bad words funny. are so weird. <laughs> bad words are so weird like if yeah. you think about it bad words are so weird imagine a foreign person coming to this country and trying to figure out what the right word to say is like imagine they called somebody like retarded and they were like autistic or whatever yeah like get all pissed off. i mean the, the word for black people they can't say it in most countries like is it or like, like if you they mean were, outside the u.s or uh, well it, you shouldn't say anywhere but like no, no no like if for like if you were to say it in uh the actual term for it uh-huh it sounds very like the n-word every other latin speaking country 
Oh, oh, you mean like the translation sounds similar? Yes, it, like, it sounds exactly yeah. like the yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. exactly like, like the like, color black in Spanish sounds like that too. Well, I mean that's because it right yeah, exactly yeah, yeah yeah, which is which is kind of funny because I think if you're in that like because whenever I order like Mexican food, right? Sometimes I get mole. Right, and it's like it's like mole niegro. Yeah, exactly. and I'm like I'm like yeah. It takes it takes a second. I'm like, <laughs> does it taste good? It tastes, does it taste better than regular mole? <laughs> it does. <laughs> it, t- it tastes better. There's yeah. some good ass chocolate in there. The hundred percent. Where do you get um, black mole around here, though? I don't know. Not in San Diego. Um, actually, the the food truck down the street has it, but it's not as good. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I've only had regular mole, and I'm not like a big mole guy. But I mean, like, I would order it. Sometimes I'll order it on the menu if I see it. Because like, how you like you, you're gonna order birria? Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, okay, context. You gotta give context yeah. to this. Well, okay, yeah, I guess I have to know. Yeah, every time I go to a birria restaurant or shop or truck or anywhere, like in their whole thing is birria. For whatever reason, whenever I show up, they always run out. Like I've never gone to a. It took me like literally, like I show you not. It took me seven tries to get birria. Like I went to a birria shop seven different times before one finally had birria. I could actually try. I feel like it was. It wasn't even like a shop they, that specialized it. It was just they just had it. Or yeah, or yeah. Sometimes, well, yeah. like most of the time, they just had it on the menu, and I'd try yeah. and ordering, it and they'd be like, "Oh, we're out for the day." Yeah, and then yeah, I, yeah. I literally went to a birria shop one time, and they didn't have any. They were like, "Oh, we're closing up shop in an hour," so we just ran out. And I'm like, "Dude, <laughs> I can't get a birria." We literally tried like eight times, and then the one time that once you figured it out that out, the one time we tried it, they had it. So yeah, yeah, it worked out. But so now me, I don't like, believe you. It took me forever to try birria, and it was like good, but it wasn't like well, you don't like blowing. You don't like stewed beef, anyways. I don't like stewed beef, but like even stewed, then, like, do you even like? You don't like stewed meat, anyways. I like period. chili. I like that's well, that's like that's not like, stewed. That's like ground beef. Yeah, a bit I don't like. You know what I really don't like is um, what's the Filipino food? Adobo, right? Adobo, yeah. The what? The soup, right? Though or no? What the chips? You mean the chip, s- chips had it before? You mean this? Of course he is. <laughs> no, he's like uh, it brought it you? brought it for us. His mom. It's made it. uh. So what's it, the soup called? I I do you mean this like stew or soup? It's like a. I don't know the difference. It has like a beef, it has beef chunks in there and it's like a broth, like is it, a beef is broth. It, is it tomato or is it not? It's a beef broth or something. Is it, does it have tomatoes in it or no? I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't like it. it anyways, whatever. I'll it's Google be- it. I think it's beef mochinko. Machin- machincho? I don't, I don't know. know. There's a Filipino food that if you know, just drop the comment on what it is. Yeah. There's a Filipino food that's like a soup and I hate that shit. But yeah. like it, I don't like beef stew. I don't like any of that stuff. You don't so. like, do you not have a chicken like stew chicken? Chicken soup. Chicken soup's good. Like, if it's chicken, like, falling apart from the bone, yeah, like, too yeah, storn. Yeah. That's fine. But yeah. you don't like it as beef? Beef's kind of, like, gross, like, <laughs> as, as a meat, as for a stew. Because it's, like, fatty and stuff and, like... So you don't like pork and stew either, then? No. Okay. Not at all, no. Just, like, chicken, that's it, really. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, you kind of need to stew beef. That it, You just don't like the fattier cuts, then. Well, I'm, you like it barbecue. Yeah, I like them as they are. Like, I don't like them in soups, though. It's, like, weird. I don't know. I don't, it's, that's kind of odd because then it's, like, I don't know. I don't know how I would, I would – that's that's kind of interesting. Like, beef stew and soup can be – like, imagine a bad beef soup you've had. I haven't. I can't oh. really think of one. Well, then, I guess I was going to say, imagine the worst beef soup you've ever had or stew. And that's, like, kind of how it tastes to me every time I have it. It's just, like – fatty and slimy like i there's almost like a slimy texture to the beef mm-hmm. um it's just not not for me either do you, so. but you like do you like ramen uh do you yeah, like, like pork good. ramen on that? uh pork ramen is like not really no okay. i like chicken ramen yeah yeah but yeah hmm. interesting i that's that's odd because it's like i can't think of because stewed beef is probably some of my favorite it's like stuff really like stewed and braised beef because it's like breaks down the texture like it's barbecue but it's like uh, but it's stewed hmm. down and you get the 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 sauce like steeped into the meat yeah like, i don't know like it's almost like the soup part almost tastes like you know like lemon tinted water or lemon water yeah it almost tastes like beef water i mean it is i know like, all but soup like, is beef water or but that chicken tastes, water that that sounds gross like imagine like you're drinking water and there's beef in there to like add little like 
Like that to me, that sounds disgusting. But I don't know. Maybe there's you, other. But like, that do you like chicken, chicken noodle soup? I do. Yeah, that's chicken water. Yeah, but chicken's light. Like it's a light cut. So like, but lemons and limes are light. But beef's like super heavy. In my, that's how I see it. I okay. see beef as like a heavier, fattier thing. Well, it is. It is heavier. Yeah. It's just gross to me. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's disgusting. This is interesting. No, I, I find it interesting whenever someone says like they don't like a food because it then makes me think like why wouldn't you like it mm. there's a part of me that then wants to make it in a way <laughs> to just see like if i would enjoy it yeah yeah you did that with um like steak i think like it's not that i didn't like steak it's just like not raw what the fuck's it called medium rare like rare steak yeah yeah yeah. can taste good like i only liked well done but yeah mm-hmm. beef stew is one of those things i think like you start getting into steak and beef and even pork and like those cuts and I start getting super picky. But I would eat anything with chicken in it mm-hmm. all day long. All right, uh, we'll take a quick break. Second, I didn't say one. How dare you? How fucking? No, nope. I'm ready to go. How it's fucking? Like 11, it's like 11 p.m. over here. <laughs> Are you starting to get tired? No, not yet. This um, is like my. This is my most awake. Not really, but like this is this is the time where I'm like good I'm you're thriving Gucci. i'm yeah. Gucci. this is great i'm me. i'll be good for another 45 minutes i think so <laughs> we're chilling yeah we're good for now is there a what actually okay i don't think i've ever asked you this what's, what's your um do you have any guilty pleasure anime or cartoons or things you want other than the bachelor <laughs> <laughs> other than the bachelor um any guilty cartoons like shows does it have to be anime or it can be any show or what i think anime would be interesting because i don't know of any mm. that you like but like yeah. like that where it's like a guilty pleasure one um hmm, i the the problem is like i run through animes when i get locked in on one so it's hard for me because i don't really like keep watching um I mean, I like Slice of Life, like, in general. Yeah. Like, I like romance animes. Like, I'd rather watch a good romance anime over, like, an action-packed, like, Demon Slayer. When was the last time you watched a... What was the last good romance anime you watched? Um... Because hmm. I don't really... I'm not personally super invested in romance animes. I, I like... I think I same. would prefer it as a... I think I would prefer romance animes as a movie mm. than I do as a show. Yeah. Because I feel like the drama gets, like, pulled along a bit too much. Mm, I right, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. As a movie, I feel like that's the same thing with, like, drama movies versus drama shows. Mm-hmm. I think I'd prefer most dramas, like, pure dramas and pure human dramas, like, as movies than I do as shows. Yeah. Because I feel like the problem lasts <laughs> for a bit too long for me to be invested in. Yeah, it's hard to, like, keep on it because, like if you're not really into the idea of like, oh my God, that's so cute that they fell in love. Oh my God, it's like cute that they have that in common. Like, and you can't keep that throughout the whole show. Yeah. Then you're kind of like, damn, this sucks. <laughs> but also it's it's another thing where it's like, it's the same problem, mm. right? Over and over again. It's like in, in a sense of like, oh, there's a second romantic interest. There is a mm. love triangle. There's someone who stepped. The, you yeah, know, I feel it's like, like pretty reoccurring. Like all, yeah, of, yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of them like are the same. I'm looking through a bunch of them um, right now. I can just start naming off like, yeah. some of them. But Ly- your Lie in April is on there. It is. Um, See, okay, that's, that's but that's been a while since I've seen that one. Yeah, but okay, your Lie in April I think has a secondary aspect of that that makes it interesting. But I, if we're, I'm talking about like what you like the music aspect of it or what. I think there was a music aspect and there was just like a few other things going on in there. But Mm -hmm. also I think what was the last like pure romance where it's just like guy girl falls in love, Mm. like no external factors to it. Probably like Kimi, uh, Kimi no Todoke or something like that was like a really good one. Mm -hmm. Um, I watched both seasons of that. I'm right. like going through my list right now because I can't remember the last one because we watch. I've been watching anime with you and with my girlfriend. I haven't been watching it by myself a whole bunch recently. Yeah. Um, my brother really, my brother, uh, stepbrother, uh, Darren, if you listen to this, what's up? Really likes Kaguya sama. Kaguya sama? I don't think I've seen that one before. It's like a comedy one, I think. Mm. You know, I'm going to throw this out there. If you guys want a good anime, there's this one called Senyu. Spelled S E N Y U U. The episodes are so that the episodes are five minutes long. Okay. So you can like rapid fire them. Yeah. yeah, yeah like yeah. that. Like we could watch a whole season in like 
a couple hours. Okay. But it's really good. It's really good for what is it, it about. It's like um, one of the ones where they wake up and the dude wakes up in the gaming world. Like this is a fucking called? isekai. Isekai, <laughs> yeah. So it's an it's it's kind of an isekai. It's not really because he doesn't wake up in an yeah, anime yeah, world. Yeah. It's just it's like in the isekai world, but no one wakes up and is like, "Why oh, am I here?" It's a fantasy. Here? It's a fantasy. It's like a fantasy. Then. Yeah, 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 I guess yeah. You, it's just a fantasy. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's literally just straight comedy. Like it's weird, and this yeah, 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 it's yeah. what makes the comedy of it too is that. There's jokes, but then there's no continuous story. Yeah. Like, there is, but then, like, it bounces around and gets super fucking ridiculous. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that one's really good. I mean, if you're watching this, you could watch an episode before yeah, the yeah. end. You could watch, like, five episodes before the end of this podcast. Yeah. If you started right now and had it, like, on another screen. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you should watch that one, too. Because okay. you could just, like, the manga, I, I haven't even thought about that. But the manga is probably, like, one book. Is like, there even a manga? So there might, there, might, might, manga. there might not be. There's two seasons though. And each episode's like five minutes long. But yeah. it's but like the intro is like sixty seconds, so it's like so it's four the minutes intro, long. three minutes of content, and then the outro. <laughs> what was that one what's that one show that's that was like that was like super short that hmm. I feel like everyone was obsessed with in like middle school? It was like the one with the nation. Was it anime? Was it Hitalia, was it? What is it? The ones where like there's just they rep the nations represented like anime characters and they would just have drama. I've never heard of that one. Before. Really? It's I think was, was it so, like really big? It was so big. I think it was called Hitalia. I think. Okay. Hital- and each episode was like five was like five to ten minutes, and then every <laughs> single it was like it was like imagine every single nation in the world uh-huh. was just an anime character, whether it's a guy and a girl. Oh, Axis they- Power, Hitalia, Axis Power. I think it's, how, yeah. it's a web- Japanese web comic and manga and anime series. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hitalia. Yeah, it looks like this. Yeah, it's yeah, Italia. Okay. All right, so, <laughs> yeah, so every nation is represented by an anime girl or a character? A character, anime character. Oh, and they're the different fucking countries. Yeah, 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 yeah I remember yeah, that shit. Yeah, 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 I had an ex that watched this. I was trying to get me to watch it. And I was like... <laughs> my, I had an ex who wanted no way. to watch it. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, like France is so cute. Or maybe like, like one of them was an asshole. I don't remember, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every country had like its own personality. Yeah. It was supposed to represent like the country or some shit like there that. was there was also another i feel i don't know why in that era of anime was this some weird ass like con mm-hmm. i mean to be fair there's some weird ass concepts now there's a fucking vending machine you, you oh yeah i, I want to see that one so bad <laughs> i want to see that one like so bad dude i saw i saw an ad for it in japan and i couldn't stop laughing dude i want to see it so bad i saw the trailer for it and i was like dude this is my type of anime right here <laughs> I want the vending machine to like fall in love with like a fan or some shit like that, <laughs> and then they have like a harem of like fucking kitchen utensils or whatever. It's like I think that like, wasn't like the beginning. Like it's like the trailer is like the um, the anime, g- and it's like an anime girl looks at the uh, the vending machine is like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, and then wakes up and it's like ding ding, and then it has like big anime eyes like yeah, blink yeah, blink, yeah. and it's like what the fuck. I woke up as a vending machine. <laughs> and okay. then, like everything gets crazy. <laughs> so this is one that I um I didn't watch, but I watched a uh, anime reviewer talk about it, hmm. and I th- and he was like he was like he made a whole video about it. He was like the anime community has gone too far. Wait, what is? Oh, you talking about the vending machine one? Not the vending machine one? one. It was a different one. So essentially, what it is, it's the concept <laughs> is like this guy uh falls in like has a crush on this high school girl mm. normal ass plot to every oh, single no. <laughs> high, high school any any normal anime yeah and then he walks across the street and he gets hit by a truck by a truck oh, like no. any other normal anime sure yeah <laughs> and then when he wakes up and then he what wakes happens? up he wakes up as a puppy oh and okay okay in normal. japan or something and like normal that? this is still not too crazy just yet okay right? yeah and he wakes up as a puppy and then he's adopted by the girl he had a crush on. No way. <laughs> no way. So is there like actually like a love story there? Because like that's weird as fuck if she like starts falling in love with the dog. There's, there's a, there's a, I remember, I remember, I was like, I didn't even, I didn't watch it. I watched because I was like, I heard about it and I was like, this is stupid. Dude, that's, that's like, like borderline bestiality. That's, I was like, this is stupid. And then I watched his video review on it and he was just like, there's some shit that the dog licks that is not oh don't me. say that <laughs> don't say that he, he was like he was like there's ah. i was like he was like the anime community has gone too far <laughs> i cannot allow it bruh 
Oh my god, I've literally never heard of that, but I hate this already. So you're watching, you're pulling it up right I'm now. I'm going to look up the name for I everybody think, that think, wants to know, because there's going to be somebody who's <laughs> I think who's I, like, I reincarnated as a puppy or some shit, or I don't know, see. it's probably... I, w- I, put, I woke up as a dog anime, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I woke up as... Manga gets TV series in 2023. Okay, yeah, it's called... Oh, so Inu is dog, so it's... The title is Inu ni Natara Suki Nahito ni Hira... Wereta. That's the whole title. Can you look it up? There's an English one. There has to be. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hold English. on, hold on. Uh, that probably is probably is. I woke up as my my. That's the whole title. In the it translates to I became a dog. I would be picked up by the person I like. There you go. That's, that's like the direct that's, translation. That is, my life is in uh, the English. I think is my life as Inu K San's dog. That's the name. Oh, I think I, I know. My K- life I think as Inu, is probably Inu the girl. San's dog. My I, life as Inu K Song's dog. I'm pretty sure, like, Inu K Song is probably the girl that he likes. There's a debut video, too. That we don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, why don't you watch it right now and give us a live reaction? This yeah, be, here's the trailer. This, this could give me a short right well, now. Well, the, the art looks good. Here, I'll play it loud so you can hear in the mic. If you understand it, Japanese. It's only, it's only 60 seconds long. If you so. understand Japanese, then. Yeah. Yeah, so she's walking. I'll describe it to you. She's walking in the rain. Oh, that's the anime girl. Yeah, the anime girl's walking in the rain, and then she just got inside after she just picked up the dog from being in the rain by yep. itself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's seeing her naked. Dude. <laughs> hey, yo, what? <laughs> Dude, it's actually like, okay, that's a cute puppy. <laughs> dude there's a lot of like naked anime chicks in this trailer i'm just gonna say out loud so yeah if you guys want to go watch it <laughs> that's what you can expect dude this is like literally like a dog harem anime and not in this not the dude. Same. <laughs> all right i can't watch this anymore <laughs> i'm not allowed to <laughs> So yeah, go look up the trailer if you're feeling weird. So. <laughs> go Wait, ha- the have you seen it? Have you seen no, the trailer? I, I saw, no, yeah, I saw the trailer. You're, you're not allowed to watch it. I saw oh, the trailer. Oh, you have. Oh, never mind. The, yeah, was... okay. You're not if if you have a, if you have a girlfriend, you're not allowed to watch it. <laughs> uh, if you're just a or per- don't tell her. <laughs> no, if you're just a person, you're not allowed. You're <laughs> yeah, because you're a perspective you're of a human, dog. If you're a human being <laughs> that respects dogs, because I feel like at that point in that in that scenario, I feel like the victim is the dog, <laughs> dude. Which is wild. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> ten, ten out of ten. Is that, is that what you you have to watch? A domestic- I'd rather watch the vending machine one. <laughs> I like legit though. Like I actually do want to see that super bad. I'm gonna take that shit super seriously once. And then uh, what was it? What's the other? I'm gonna one? collect like the memorabilia, like the keychains and stuff. I'm sure there's there's good, there's like the vending machine plushies. I'm gonna like, like that. put eyeballs on a refrigerator and like I'm try and- you haven't decorate it like a vending machine you should do uh you should get um oh you Mm -hmm. need to watch you also what was that list of things that's crazy animes you need to watch it was a domestic oh domestic girlfriend yeah there's like trash fire of an anime it's funny i looked at my anime list because we were talking about looking back on romance animes and the only one anime i've ever dropped is 86 and that was the one you were (laughs) like oh my god this shit's so good and i was like falling asleep every episode like it was so not for me you're, you're it's not, like a gundam one it's like a you don't like of. do you not like uh no you do it's like it's just like it's too too sad no too real the story just wasn't good enough for what me what do you mean like i it wasn't so easy i could follow it kind of thing and then also like but i could but i had to think a lot and i just didn't want to think about it i was just like trying to mindlessly zone out but i don't know do you not do you not like a complicated story or, or something no like that? not really i like plot twists and stuff but yeah. i don't like um like i didn't even i didn't finish game of thrones for that reason too like yeah too many characters uh it was good but i just had to drop it i was like dude this is too much thinking right now so wait so when you watch something do you have <laughs> does it do you want to not think or do you want to it's like, i just want to feel man <laughs> I, I don't want to think i want to feel something okay that's all i ask because my favorite movies are mysteries and you have to think like that's why i'm like wondering if uh, it's like uh, mysteries are fine but like if it's like oh like you have to think like if the whole reason is like it's a mystery and you're trying to solve a problem 
then I could see that. But like, if there's no mystery, there's no problem solving. It's like we jump in mech suits and we fight other people that jump in mech suits and like. Isn't there like no no curious of people like why there's a fucking shit going on here or, or like what's, what's no the I didn't scenario? care about any of that. Okay. Yeah. Well, do you usually not like under other underlining the normal overall arching story which is the mystery Mm -hmm. there's like always going to be like separate things going on inside things is that stuff like that you don't really care about when you're watching Uh, like dragon ball z if there's like three fighting scenes going on no like Like so um or you mean like you get like you get rocked because there was like a a random thing that happens so like that flips the story or something so in like any story there's like an overall like season right in a season there's a one one consecutive story that Mm -hmm. goes on right and then within that, there's like individual oh, like arcs f- and stories and th- reasons and like stuff fillers, like that. Like fillers, kind of? Not fillers, but like each character has their own motives. And stuff. Oh, yeah. I think and that's like, f- cool. Yeah. yeah. Like the different like Sanji arc from One Piece versus Not like the Zoro it, arc and versus like that. Um, I'm trying to Because that's like character arcs. Kind Not of really thing. arc as in like there's a whole entire story development around them. But, like, the specific character's reasons for doing something or reasons for setting or, like, the understanding of why something's going on in this world, in this character world. You're going to have to give me an example then. I'm trying to – I'm trying to think of, like – Give me a One Piece example. One Piece example. Okay, so – God, you're not far enough, You can spoil it for me. I don't care. So, like – Spoilers. Okay. So, for example – Yeah. Spoilers for One Piece up to, like, I don't know, a fucking thousand episodes. Oh, God. (laughs) (laughs) You can so, spoil it because I've already spoiled. I've seen so many memes online. Like I know that. Yeah. So like, spoiler, I know Usopp turns into a badass and all that shit. So he kind of. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so like, all right. So there's obviously the overalling overall story of One Piece, which yeah. is that you're trying. He's trying, trying to, to be the king of the, king pirates, of the pirates and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But underneath that, there's like, there's like, oh, there's a there's there's a whole entire thing about. The celestial dragons, which is like the high, the, the the kings of the world, were basically the gods of the world, the human gods of the world. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, there's a whole entire thing about sla- they, they having slaves and treating them wrong, and then there's a whole entire thing about underlining that is the um, there is a political play with the revolutionary army. There's things going on with different characters. At, at, god like uh that's not the main cast Mm -hmm. going on that they start showing a lot more in the second part of the but they all tie into the stories eventually they're not like fillers like they all tie in they're all important to the story i see yeah yeah i mean that's fine like i like that stuff i mean i don't mind it yeah (laughs) <laughs> that was like that was i mean if that's the answer so no no yeah, i'm I mean, just curious because yeah. like that's to me that's more Im- interesting than, oh, the, main than story. the main story oh i see um i mean because i think to me it builds more about the characters in the world of, of where it is the world building yeah i mean like that's cool yeah i think that's like cool i don't know like mm-hmm I mean, I'd rather just, like, do the main story part of it, but... Yeah. Um, I mean, like, I think it's fun. Like, if I'm really into the world and the idea... Like, One Piece is cool because it's, like, pirates yeah. and stuff, but if it's just, like, another another day of anime in the fantasy world or something, then I'm, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or even, like, a just regular-ass city in Japan. Like, I don't care about that stuff. So. Okay, like... Uh, oh. Another, I know, I know another, what you're trying to say. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. I was about to say, like, I, I just thought of a really good example oh, of that. Yeah, go for it. Is that Demon Slayer super linear? Yeah. It's literally very linear throughout. Mm-hmm. And I spoiler warning, I guess. Yeah, spoilers. Literally, 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 the whole entire story of Demon Slayer is going to be linear. Yeah. There's no other thing going on except for one part near the end that has to do with isn't. Yeah, maybe it? maybe one, two max, but mm. really just one part that has to do with Zenitsu. Okay, that is separate ish, not completely, but separate ish from the overall goal and story. That they, what I say that is that they really didn't have to add that, but they just did for Zenitsu. I see. So, the whole entire thing of Demon Slayer, very linear, very mm-hmm. main story. This is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Which is cool in it, it kind of there's a cool aspect of that which is that it's the animation's amazing and the story's pretty good too. Yeah, it's pretty background. continuous, yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot. The opposite of that is when you get into One Piece's second part of the story. 
mm. where it's yes there is the goal the overarching goal in the story is he wants to get the one piece mm-hmm. but within that there is a lot of individual yeah. moving pieces and individual characters stories and mm, individual characters okay. things it and, all it all clicked in my brain now. yeah you yeah, see yeah, what yeah. i'm trying to get that like even like that and then when you made me think like sometimes there's characters that show up in episode 20 that didn't you didn't think would be important and then they'd show yeah, up yeah, in like yeah, yeah. episode 70 later and that's stuff. that's literally the yeah, definition versus, of one piece versus yeah. like demon slayer which is just like someone dies they go away forever they yeah, continue yeah. their story they kill somebody else and they go away and they never come back and like there's no side quest going it's on. it's all very yeah, yeah, yeah. very thing <laughs> okay yeah i got it now and yeah, yeah. i do i do think it's cool when characters like come back or like there's like underlying side stories i guess i do prefer more of a linear like demon slayer yeah, I yeah, think yeah. so yeah because i don't know i just like i just like being focused on one thing and then yeah. like i think it's fun when they bring characters back but it's not yeah. like super important to me like it's yeah. fine because i think uh, another thing that um i just i just thought about it is like you're never going to have someone who's going to be a demon slayer theorist yeah like like trying to figure out the next part of the lore right of uh, of demon slayer or like what's the background for the i mean to the degree of like maybe in the individuals like oh how strong is this character really yeah but they, like they did that and um it wasn't like the same thing, but there's like a lot of theory around like the new Spider Verse movies that came out too. Yeah. So. But yeah. you're gonna but for the for One Piece, and for your like the Spider Verse and stuff mm-hmm. like that. There's yeah. go, there's a lot of people who are gonna be talking about that because there's a lot of things yeah. in that world building that people include. That's a very small detail and. Yeah, um, people catch it and then yeah. they want to like share, talk about it or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bleach is actually similar to a degree of that. But Bleach is more is kind of unfortunate. The reason why though, is huh. I it was just that the um, I don't remember the exact details of it, but the writer for Bleach he was rushed to finish the end of Bleach, and a lot of people were pissed off about oh, it. Oh, did he fuck up the ending? Like it was bad. It wasn't bad, but it was rushed, and there was a <laughs> lot of things missing. I see. Like, and there was a lot of things missing, and then there was a lot of details that were like, what, mm. what the fuck. Mm-hmm. but uh, apparently it was like his i think it was two reasons one was that shonen jump wanted to finish that an- that, that manga yeah so that they could have room for something else mm-hmm. and the second part of that was that his i think his like he had like he was developing like a chronic like illness or problem with his fingers and hands mm-hmm. so he couldn't draw anymore i see okay yeah. which kind of sucks <laughs> yeah that's like his whole livelihood yeah yeah i mean <laughs> i'm glad that they that they're redoing the ending part of bleach as an anime now no oh, and yeah, it's yeah. and they are adding a lot more things to it and he's overseeing the whole entire story and animation for it mm. which is really cool he's just not drawing it he's he's not drawing it I, but mostly people who write the manga or draw the manga mm. don't end up like drawing the anime yeah my brother has watched bleach so i've only seen parts of the original bleach yeah, yeah, yeah. um so Dude, the art i got the gist so of it good the original art or the new the new one's so good yeah the new does look good the old one looks good too actually yeah, yeah, yeah. it just it gives me that shonen jump vibe you the know original, the og the shonen. like yeah, yeah you like like you watch there's some anime you watch it you're like oh this is a shonen jump for sure and oh then, yeah like my hero academia <laughs> you watch two seconds yeah you're for like, sure it's always the art and the voice actors in english dub that always kill it for me well not kill it but like I just know it's a shonen jump. Like, yeah. The voice actors for some reason all sound to me is very similar. And then like the art all looks the same. Like sometimes yeah. it gets better. Like my hero academia looks much better than like the original bleach, but yeah, like yeah. it still has the same style. It's pretty yeah. like, well, it's all two dimensional, but like they, they, they don't try and act like some like demon slayer. Like we're a big art studio. It's all pretty 2d. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. like, like the colors are recognizable it's hard, hard to describe well but. yeah because there's like i mean demon slayer is shonen jump and to be you know what's a crazy one i didn't realize was shonen jump until like recently what's up hell's paradise is shonen jump oh no way yeah but i but wait I, demon slayer's shonen jump too yeah they uh, well i guess i can't tell the difference i thought no, they no, were no, different no, but, i thought but, they were different but i do get what you mean because there is a i think there's Maybe a, it's just the old school ones or something. there's like a shonen jump that's like they i think they produce for kids or like or young adults like probably like between the ages of like 12 to like 16 yeah and that's like the my hero academia that's like the um black clover <laughs> did you ever like s- the- sorry i random thought did you ever see that tiktok 
uh, or reel of them going around to anime expos and being like, who has the sweatiest fans? And like everybody said, My Hero Academia did. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, who has the sweatiest fans? It wasn't even like anime even. It was just like video games, anything. Really? And most people said My Hero Academia. Why? I'm just so I don't know. Curious. But like, I don't know any My Hero Academia fans. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. That, that, you but, know, that makes me, I, I kind of, I... I don't hate on my hero academia because I'm actually, <laughs> cause I'm actually reading the, apparently it's the last arc of it. Huh? And I didn't, I like dropped it for a long time. Oh, you did. And was then, it boring or were you just getting distracted by something else? Both. Okay. But I think it was just more so that there was just nothing interesting <laughs> going on anymore. Yeah. It wasn't. And then they kind of just dropped this whole entire thing where I guess spoilers, for my hero academia if you're into it yeah if you're, dropped, sweaty. if you're sweaty if you're sweaty they they i i heard from like i was just like on my feed and everyone's like you gotta read the recent my hero oh. academia arcs it's crazy and i was and it was like i was like yeah and then it was like a few few people were that i like actively don't watch it was like okay mm-hmm. no this is actually really good oh okay it was that it's it was uh it seems like a classic like story of like oh it's just a hero mm-hmm. beats a villain it's still mm-hmm. at the school and everything and then they drop this thing where it's like where basically the villains just like take over all of japan and like oh, kill cool. and murder everyone that sounds and like epic actually. and then like they just it raise everything to the point where the heroes are just like a like a single thing they're trying to save whatever's can mm. and it kind of like because it's a Dude, hero that society sounds cool actually yeah it's a hero society so it's like a bunch of heroes and then like it kind of shows which one was a hero for the fame and the fortune and which mm. one was actually being a hero because a lot of people would just drop I a lot see. of heroes would just like like they just don't want to like fight for the greater good they, they were just there for like the the limelight kind of thing not necessarily like they were like maybe they thought internally they were oh, but I it was see. like but when shit hit the fan they just couldn't deal with it anymore mm. and so it that became does sound cool actually yeah so it became really interesting and like became really dark and like goes into like families family abuse and everything i'm like holy oh, shit oh man so <laughs> have you caught up then yeah or? i caught up i caught up for that reason and it's actually pretty good it's worth of, it it's worth it in the like mm. worth that part but i think there's a lot of fodder mm. in the middle where it's like where it's like ah it's whatever it's like too many like side quests or some shit <laughs> not side quests <laughs> like but there was just... too many like villains that were just like Finding Bucky the Clown six times. Yeah, the- <laughs> yeah. They're like, they're like, hey, I'm the bad guy. I want to do bad things, and it's yeah. like, oh, whatever. Like, <laughs> I, uh, I get the. We whole... know what happens. They kick his ass. And yeah, like, yeah, happy. yeah. <laughs> but now it's now there's there's now it's uh, even though there was like there was some like controversial like story takes, mm. it's more of a I appreciate the risk of it. Mm, that's cool. And I think I recently learned about the reason why the guy who wrote. My Hero Academia wrote My, My Hero Academia and made me appreciate it a little bit more, mm. especially since the beginning seems very happy-go-lucky. Mm. Was that, uh, I think it was a mangaka, I forgot the, the mangaka's name, whoever, mm-hmm. but he was like, he was not making any good story. Like, it was not, he would, he was writing a bunch of mangas that was, weren't picking up or they would get canceled immediately. Yeah. And he kept writing and kept writing and it just, and then like, I think like a bunch of shit happened. Like, I think, I, I don't know exact details, but like, his like what wife passed away or something mm. or like some bad shit happened or or something with his kid and then um bottom line he was in a really depressed bad state mm. like uh border suicidal like and then he just kind of was at a moment where like i just want to write a happy story yeah and he wrote my hero academia oh damn and then it became suddenly overnight like massively popular and got picked up by shonen jump Dude, that's so cool. Yeah. I feel like those stories always happen where somebody gets like, yeah. they're in their darkest days and it's like, I'm going to just do the thing that makes me happy. He and just, then it like works out. Yeah, because he was like, like, I think okay. he was like a big fan of Marvel growing up or DC. Oh, that's cool. And he was like, I just want to write a good, like happy yeah like superhero thing dude i feel like there's always those things when you have nothing yeah. that's when you figure out like what are the things i actually like to do yeah, yeah like yeah. i like writing and drawing and then you yeah. just do it kind of thing well but we that's gotta cool. go on a break real quick peace okay so my <laughs> so recently i've been reading my guilty pleasure i guess not really anime but manga i guess manga because i, I read a lot more yeah is that i've been reading a lot of um uh korean mangas like webtoons manhwa is, oh, i think they're called cool. that nice but uh they're all the same that's i'm not gonna fucking lie they're all the same mm-hmm. they all have the same like overarching the story or what <laughs> they all have the <clears throat> same concept 
do not they, even so like do they look like uh regular manga too like they are like you could see them making an anime out of it and stuff no, like uh, that. they already did i think they made a couple they made they adapted one the famous one that started this whole entire thing where it's like this ex, where all of them are the same fucking story oh. because they're all trying so to what, describe to me what the story is of a korean manga then so, what's the overarching story that you see a lot not all of them but i'll say like most a lot of the ones <laughs> a lot of the ones now are all based on the same overall arching concept and it came from one called um solo leveling okay and solo leveling got extremely popular because the art style made the art was really good. Okay. Like un, undoubtedly good. Mm-hmm. And it's uh the care the. By the way, Korean uh, webtoons and manga are colored. They're fully colored. That's cool. Versus like versus drawn. black and white. Black yeah. and white, and they're fully colored, and they come out every week. And I don't understand how they do that. That seems insane. Yeah, that does. It seems like a lot of work. Are they the same length as like regular manga too? Uh, or Japanese th- manga, sorry. They can be, but it's it's a different concept of how it's drawn. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, with a manga, you read it page by page, right? Uh-huh. It's a individual pages. Sometimes it's double page panel, but it's like mainly a page, yeah. page by page. Yeah. Because the concept be- behind a webtoon or how they draw it is that mm. they know you're going to read it on I, your phone. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, Lindsay has wa- reads a webtoon too. It's yeah. just like a scroll. It's like, like it's, a, it's a, a straight like continuous. CBS, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Receipt. Yeah, yeah. Continuous so long, image yeah. that constantly goes right. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the concept between behind those right. Mm-hmm. Solo leveling was the first one to create it, and it was the whole story. And this is like. N- about very similar to about 90 percent of all of them okay what what's the story solo leveling so is it like a gaming thing or what is it it was essentially basically a um in 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 the world randomly on in the year of 2025 or 2015 or some shit okay the portals from an from another world opened and disaster came out across the whole entire world and monsters came out of them. That sounds like Endgame. Like Marvel and DC Endgame? Yo, like literally that happened. Wait, so like like <clears throat> monsters and orcs and dragons come out and they'll start destroying these cities and um and then the military is trying to destroy them <laughs> with tanks and guns and nuclear bombs and then they're not doing shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it won't work. And then suddenly out of nowhere <laughs> there is a there is a people suddenly start getting magical powers. And nice. they, they become enter one of about three fra- three words: adventurers, heroes, or hunters. Usually, it's one of those three terms in uh-huh. any one of these series. In solo leveling, I think they were hunters. Okay. Um, and they develop these classical magical powers from like D and D, like literally oh, from like D D. Exactly. Archer, a rogue, a rogue, archer, yeah. or something. They get like buffs, powers, and stuff like that. And but because of that they uh, get the power to actually fight back these monsters. Mm. Now, <laughs> they never really explain why none of them use guns. Oh, they, so they, <laughs> they only get... So classical monsters come out. Like and classical, you get classical, like D&D. Powers. Like D&D, exactly. Yeah, but you're in modern Japan. But you're in modern Korea. Korea. Yeah. yeah, or anywhere. Okay, and it's, are they good, though? Like, do you like that story? Like, I, even if you've seen it or read it a couple times now, like, is it good? Like, They are entertaining. They are entertaining, and but the main concept behind that is that, and there's usually one character who is usually born with no power, and then suddenly, uh, something happens. Is and he like gets a loser this. too? And he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and, a shut in and plays video games all day. But it's always, it's always <laughs> no, no, no. It's not that. It's actually always sad. It's oh. always like one guy who is his enter mother or father or sister or brother gets like terminally ill or some shit happens uh, and then they have to provide for the for the for their hospital mm-hmm. bills so they go and become try to become a hunter even though they don't have powers or anything mm. and they always get like beat up or shit or made fun of mm. because apparently korea is like that that's from what i'm getting what the fuck <laughs> and <laughs> no then, way and then he and then they always and then in the moment of like they're about to die or some shit happens they, they get, get magic powers. They get a power, and then like they suddenly like a video game, a status window opens, and they see like they can read stats of oh, the, themselves. 
And then, yeah. That sounds like it would be cool once. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be into it once. I like D&D, so, I mean, that'd yeah, be cool. Yeah, I would and recommend. The, fan- the fantasy vibes are cool. I yeah, like no, no. Stuff. I think the cool part about it that I like is less about the actual overarching story. <clears throat> is that the idea, I've always been fascinated by the idea, and I think it's partially because I read Percy Jackson a lot as a mm-hmm, kid. Mm-hmm. Of, like, mythical, like, and fantasy mixed with modern. Yeah. It's always a fun concept to me. Yeah, I like that stuff too. I yeah. think it can, if it's executed well, it can be good. Like it's been overdone. It's been done over and over and over again. Yeah, but it, I mean it's still good. I think if you were to read one, just read Solo Leveling, which is the one that made it all popular mm-hmm. because the the artists and the artistry is really good. And I will admit, a hundred percent of and like ninety nine percent of the time, the main character doesn't really struggle. <laughs> <laughs> right, like they just kick everyone. They just kind every of, time. yeah, they kind of just kick just everyone. Like a straight chat, and they never. Yeah, it, because with solo leveling, the whole reason why he was a fucking he started with nothing, but he was the only one in the whole entire story that had he got the power to actually level up. Oh, that's the point of why it's called solo leveling. Sounds like One Punch Man, kind of. Yeah, like he can never lose or die. So he's not that he can never lose; is that he was the only one who can improve. Oh, I see. So he was the only one who can improve, and he just kept improving himself. While everyone is stagnant, they're born with a certain amount of stats. Yeah, and they're stuck at those. Oh, interesting. And so he was the only one who can actually get better. So if I was like wanting to read this from scratch, like yeah. how long does it take for me to catch up? Like a week, a day? Like, is, are they short or are they long? They're Sorry, I'm short. trying to get they're, like an idea. They're they're like a they're like a one piece like chat like uh, you chapter. Just, psh, like go you can you can pr- you can go through one in like five ten minutes. Oh, sweet! Minutes. And because it, the nice part about this is because there's a nice part about it where it's like I read it when I don't have to think. Yeah. Because they're all it's all the same fucking story, mm-hmm. and it's usually like. About sixty percent of them, there's like a revenge plot because I think that's a Korean thing. I don't know why Korean. A lot of <laughs> Korean stories have things with revenge. They just kind of, they just. There's a lot of revenge plots. I've I'm starting some, to realize. I've seen some Korean dramas, and they're like that too. Yeah, they're like really into revenge. It makes me mm-hmm. kind of concerned. Yeah, but um, they're coming back. <laughs> yeah. So I there's a lot of them like that. Um, and there's a couple where when I start getting into the copies of Solo Leveling a lot, I'm like. I kind of drop it. Mm. I'm like, uh, whatever. But there's a couple that actually have certain interesting concepts. Mm. One of my favorites, and I think this is the one that I would really... that It's kind of a comedy mm. that basically it's post when all of this happens and they actually win the war. Like the humans destroy all the monsters. They had like six... The, they had like... Huh. These, is, it, is it off of solo leveling or is it making a fun? Separate, it's a separate like... It's a separate oh, story. So it's like not making fun of the fact that all of them are like that but it's also kind of because it's saying like yeah after all of that shit happens and they win then this is what happens yeah yeah so like Mm. they they win they get rid of all the monsters it's like these seven heroes that were the main characters supposedly of like that story one of them uh one of them like dies and his uh, one of one of them sacrifices his life to save mm. the rest, but that main character was is not like a like a main character in a shonen where it's like they're the good person. No, nah, he's a straight asshole. Like, <laughs> but he's good though, right? Like, he's he like does good. Things. He's an anti-hero. He's like a Deadpool a- type hero. Gotcha. He's okay. like he literally makes fun of people and beats people up, <laughs> but he's just like he. But he laughs about it. You kind of like that about yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. But so he literally the 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 party is leaving, and he's like run get away i'll block the exit and make sure that all these people all these monsters don't make it out mm-hmm. and he and then the guy his his partner goes like turns around and is like what do you what's do you have any last words any requests man mm. before you go he's like make a giant statue of me in the middle of soul <laughs> <laughs> Dude. And then, and then, so he literally is like a narcissistic asshole he is a narcissistic <laughs> asshole he's like make sure it's massive I'm sacrificing my life for this shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be remembered. <laughs> Wait, if the main character dies, then in the beginning, it's, it's like the first chapter. This that is the happens. first chapter, and then so what happens is 25 years later, he just randomly pops out in front of the statue they built in front of him. Oh, I don't nice. know why. Oh, they, they actually, did make the statue. <laughs> made a statue. Oh yeah, let's go. So what I like about it, just I'm not gonna go into anything else, but like yeah, sorry, we should have said spoilers. Yeah, 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 but what ha- what I really enjoy is that they actually mention like what happens afterwards. Mm. Is that all these people, oh, there's just a bunch of these super powered humans now. There's have no reason to fight. There's no, it's not like no soldiers monsters. coming back from war. Because oh my god, did they get like this. boring office jobs and work at like cafes? And so stuff, no, no, no. This is really cool. Is that in order the go- of all the governments in the world that came together in order to get rid of this hostility? Yeah, they all together came up with the idea of let's make 
into a sports game, mm. a sports thing event. So they basically had all these superhuman people and then created a VR technology where it would recreate the actual dungeons and levels that these famous oh. wars were fought in against these monsters, yeah. recreate the monsters and have the superhuman people actually compete against each other and fight uh, each other Yo, that's like a cool. gladiator thing. And it became a sport and became the most world. Fuck, this sounds like it'd be a great anime actually. Yeah. And then so the, this guy came back and he's like, he was the best around and he's mm-hmm. like, he's learning about all this stuff. And instead of being part of the sport, he was like, he became a coach for the sport and he created a team. And he's like, basically it's the story of him coaching a team to become a uh, part of the sword because oh. so it became a sports story based on that yo that is so weird yeah right but that's cool <laughs> that's, i like that a that's lot, that's actually. the one i like i like the ones that kind of take it and flip it on the dead <laughs> yeah that's that's actually really fun yeah and do you think they would make it because you're good at calling them do you think they would make it into like an anime or do you think they'll leave it all no nah, the main character is too much of a <laughs> uh he wouldn't work for an anime i don't think for i think it would be more like an adult swim cartoon because he, he literally yeah. there's like literally points where they're like he's just he's just straight so there's like a character, there's a guy he's trying to recruit into his team, and the yeah. guy's just like, he's just, he the guy's just like, who the fuck are you, old man? And then he just kicks his ass, and he just <laughs> looks at him. He's like, you're joining my team, <laughs> and the kid's like, fine, I'll I'll do it. But if you could do me a favor, and is apparently his dad's like the kid's dad isn't like a super asshole or some shit like that. Yeah, it's like if you could teach my dad a lesson like you did mm. to me, and he just goes up <laughs> to the dad who's like an alcoholic and gambler, and mm-hmm. he's like, all right. And he goes up to him and then locks the room. He's like, all right, I'm going to teach you why you shouldn't drink. And he grabs a bunch of soju bottles and just no. smashes it. <laughs> oh, my God. He bo- grabs every single alcohol bottle. and He's like, I'm going to teach you to hate each one of them by me hitting you with them. Yeah, they should they should make that into an anime. That would be, like, really fun. But, yeah, they, they couldn't do it. I don't yeah, think could, but yeah. it's such a cool. It's too dark. It's a cool idea, right? I yeah. think, like, I I think if, you, like, I was like, oh, that's a pretty interesting one. Dude, I want to watch solo leveling instead of, like, read it. They have an anime. Yeah. But you know what's kind of fucked about the anime? What's up? I never watched it, but I heard about it. Um, the Japanese studio picked up solo leveling, right? Uh-huh. And I don't know why. Sorry, I'm looking it up. I'm not getting distracted. Uh, I don't know why, but they made the decision to make solo leveling instead of a uh, uh, the character based in Seoul in Korea mm-hmm. to be based in Japan. Oh, so it takes place in Japan. The, the anime, anime takes place in Japan. But the webtoon t- takes place in Seoul, Korea. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I don't know. That's That seems a little like... It says the series will premiere on Crunchyroll in winter 2024. Oh, really? I thought they made it already. I or don't maybe know. They, oh, maybe I just saw a trailer. Yeah, they have a teaser trailer for it. But oh, they're, yeah. they're putting it out at least. So. Yeah. But that's, I heard about that, and I was like, now. "I was cool. like, yeah, you should you, you, definitely if there's if there's one to follow is that one, mm-hmm. or the or the one I was talking about. It's called if you're interested and you hear what you like about about that 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 battlefield type playing or like the, the yeah. Sports what's one, the name of the second one? It's called Superhuman Battlefield. Okay, it's so. pretty generic, but I'm sure if you Googled it and put Korean webtoon, it'd probably all, sure. all of the all of them are super shitty names. Oh, I'm not really sure bad. if it's like I'm not sure oh. if it's a translation error. Dude. translation thing but all of them have really cringy names it's so funny it sounds like those cheap mobile apps you get ads for superhuman like, battlefield superhuman battlefield like wartime like yeah. solo leveling <laughs> well, well let me let me think of some of the dumb ones there was a uh, i got an ss rank thing from the mm. from my past they, it all stemmed from like clash royale yeah or, or, or like, clash of clans was the first one yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh, what's the one everybody gets paid and sponsored for raid shadow raids it's literally yeah. raid. <laughs> Like Raid Shadow Legends. It's literally, like, if Raid Shadow Legends came to Seoul, Korea, and everyone got superpowers, <laughs> that's basically the the point of every single one of these. <laughs> like a hundred percent, you even get a status window. All of them get a real life status window. I don't know Dude, why. The- <laughs> I played Raid Shadow Eleven Legends for a while. It's Was actually it fun? Really, it's no, it's actually well, it's turn based strategy. So I yeah, liked yeah, it, yeah. but most people would probably fucking hate it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm starting to get tired. Is it cutoff time? I'm no, sorry. No, it's not even. <laughs> Dude, it's like midnight right now. I'm sorry. It's not even. You got another. Uh, you got to deal with me for another 10 minutes. <laughs> no. Can't we plug for 10 minutes? <laughs> we can't plug for 10 minutes. All right, all right. All right, but um, no, I can. Uh, what's it called? There's a. Uh, I, I, we could we could end it off, but like one of the things that another thing that I'll say is like kind of really funny about all of these all of these individual ones that are that were uh i'm mentioning about the korean mangas or manwas yeah is that they none of them 
Except for one. Ever explain why everyone just gave up a gun and just started picking up swords? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I mean, the military's a thing. I mean, they obviously couldn't destroy the dragons or whatever, but, like, they must have, like, nukes and bazookas and stuff Yeah, like, like I don't... I never... It never... Uh, I've only <laughs> recently came to one where, like, they explained it. But, like, every one of them, I was like, couldn't you just throw... Do bullets just not affect them because they're magic or something like that? Yeah, but like... at the same time, I was like, couldn't you just throw the, the, the sword inside of a missile or, like, a little piece of shit? <laughs> and then shark? shoot the sword? Yeah, you could have, like... Or, like, a sh- dagger gun, like, like just, shoots little daggers. Or you couldn't you infuse the, 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 the bullets instead? Or if you could that, make... That's true, huh? Or, like, if you're going to make arrows, you could have just done that with bullets. Yeah, I mean, you have to use your imagination, I guess, to make it come to life. But at the same time, like, bullets are made out of the same shit that, like... yeah like a lot of weapons are made out of so i mean like why wouldn't they work you know yeah but But there was only one that i've ever read where i was like ah that kind of makes sense Mm. but it wasn't dumb like they're just not magical and they can't get hit or what it was was uh so it was that um every oh go for it sorry so they he explained it was like one basically the concept of this one was (laughs) he wrote the guy wrote (laughs) that was like kind of like inception Mm. it was a story about a guy writing a webtoon this is hilarious. Oh, he was a webtoon writer in the webtoon, and the webtoon he wrote was about the monsters that came out, or what? Yeah, and it, and mm. then suddenly he actually got sucked into the webtoon that he was um... writing, and it became like that. And so he actually, the character, the main character, actually uses a gun, mm. but he explains why none of his characters do. Mm. And then the idea and his explain explanation was that archaic weapons like swords and spears and stuff mm-hmm. is dependent on the skill. Of the individual if the person can mm. if the person can attack harder and stronger with the magic amount of magic they have in their body mm-hmm. it translates better because a gun is set the <laughs> force is set to the is, I see. is set as a weapon yeah i was thinking like a, you could probably get around it by saying like it's newer technology well it it's kind of older guns have been around for a long time but yeah. i mean not swords and like arrows long though you yeah. could like say like they're so old that like, or they're so they're so much newer than like swords and stuff that yeah. they don't work because they don't like fit in the era or something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. That's the first thing I thought of. But. Yeah, I thought that was I was like, it's like thank you, you're the first fucking author <laughs> out of the millions. Oh that, my god, the burr, sorry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the, out of all of them, that actually gave me an explanation yeah. about why this fucking none of them are just guns. They had just never do, and then you just <laughs> always have to. You always just have to like know that that's like a thing. You know? It's like, why didn't you just use the gun? Like, Mm-mm. I don't know. Anyways, that's <laughs> there's a couple ones. I only, I really only follow the ones that are a little bit different and interesting, mm-hmm. or like they take the concept and kind of flip it on the head, like I said with the yeah, battlefield. That one. does. That one does sound good yeah but um yeah anyways that's my guilty pleasure let us know what your guilty pleasure anime or manga or or movie or whatever is Mm -hmm. um for a little while i really enjoyed what's another guilty pleasure thing i enjoyed that's my that's my thing right now it's just like because it's i don't have to think Mm. right now i've been watching um old cartoons not like anime but i've been watching older cartoons like chowder and stuff like that so oh sick i love chowder dude chowder's really good okay um (laughs) we just saw the one do you remember all the episodes did you watch a lot of it i watched most of it do you remember the one with the wonton bombs where he goes back in time and his old man chef um He's like the Chinese dude and he's blind and he's old and he has glasses. Of course the Chinese dude's blind. And, and he, he 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 makes like wonton bombs, but he like fucks it Mung fucks it up, so his life gets all fucked up because he fucks up this recipe of making wonton bombs and then it like messes his whole life up. And essentially he goes back in time and he fixes it and it I fixes think so. his it life. Sounds vaguely it fi- anyways, that episode's really Who's, who's the funny. who's the brown looking golem? That's yeah. Schnitzel, bro. Schnitzel, that's right. Dude, Schnitzel. I remember so I was watching this uh the, the third impact guy, so I was just showing you guys. The mm-hmm. guys who do like the fashion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then um random I don't know rem- I don't know what the context was, but one of the guys was like, Look, if you remember Chowder, he's like, Yeah, yeah, I remember Chowder. He's like, All right, <laughs> random, but Schnitzel, hundred percent was a brother. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I was like, what? I, was like I thought about it. I was like, eh, actually, I can see it. I can see him. I can see him be black. Yeah. No, and Schnitzel was black. For yeah, for sure. sure, he was black. Yeah, yeah. We didn't watch all of it, but I mean, that's what I've been doing. Is I haven't been watching anime right now. I've been watching cartoons. That's so. nice. Do you think uh, what's it called? It, mm. 
thoughts do you think avatar is a cartoon or anime uh it's a cartoon yeah it's a cartoon yeah, mm-hmm. i think it's a cartoon too you think nice okay cool. i think so too but i do think it was inspired by like anime a lot yeah yeah it's a cartoon like it doesn't have the same art style as like anime i think it was mainly the the asian influence in the story the the fact that it was like a lot of cartoons at the time were very episodical what does that word mean I don't know what that means. Episodical means oh, that like the, the episode by episode. Based? Episode by episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The story okay, is gotcha. episode by episode, but versus Avatar was kind of like a shonen. Yeah, it's continuous. It was continuous, kind yeah. of like, yeah. But I loved Avatar. Um. Yeah, it was good. I remember I was really late to the game. Like For everybody's, Avatar. everyone's. Yeah, I everyone yeah. saw it, and when it was, it was one of those ones I had to go back and watch after mm-hmm. everyone's seen it, like five years after or some shit like mm-hmm. that. Like it was a while. Mm-hmm um and yeah it was good i never watched cora or anything like that legend of cora but you don't really need to um but yeah i heard it was like pretty lackluster so i just decided to skip it all together cora was really good for the first season and the third season oh the second is there only three seasons there's four seasons four gotcha the first and the third one was really good <coughs> the second season kind of sucked the fourth season was interesting mm-hmm. i would say i would say that so like anyways um we're just going to pop it off. Riley looks like he's about to fall asleep right now. Yeah, it's not the worst, but in like 10 minutes, it's going to get worse. So. All right. Well, it's all good. You can uh, follow us at Gain XP Fitness. We have uh, anime, gaming, and superhero programs for you to work out uh, like. Characters mm-hmm. you can pick out of. And we do workout content if you want to learn about how to get fit or fitness or health in general or nutrition. Uh, we try to post about a bunch of stuff. So... Do come in, learn, and uh, grow with us. My name is uh, Jordan. I'm George Or. Uh, you can find George Or underscore EXP or George Or Cooks underscore EXP for most of my stuff. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm starting to sound like uh, the late night show host for <laughs> Welcome. You got the to, calming uh, voice. I mean, everyone knows it. So Welcome to uh, <laughs> late night. Not, well, 90, 99, late night with six, Jordan. 99.6.5 <laughs> KOIT. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's, your, what's your plugs, and we'll end it off. Yeah, and then my plugs are Doggo Exp. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This up? is this is a uh, George or Exp with Doggo Exp. Signing for off. Again, signing <laughs> off. <laughs> Have a wonderful night, everyone. <laughs> Take that midnight train to Naptown. Sleep well. Do 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 do. All right, now he's done. <laughs> play like elevator music. But yeah, follow me on Doggo Exp. All right, ciao. Bye bye.